people could be doing at home tonight. You know, as my firefighter friend had texted me and said, your address sign to clear that. Great advice. Also getting the flashlights ready, the candles. No one wants to lose power or thinks that they will, but if you do, you want to have that stuff on stand. You want to have that. And again, if you're thinking about shoveling, we already reported that a lot of people are out there now. Because it is going to be probably too cold to really be out there for a long period of time tomorrow morning. You can still get out there this evening and get some shoveling done. Here's a picture out of uh, Walkerton, Indiana. Uh, you can see, again, snow covered down in Walkerton as well. Again, share your photos at Tom Coombs on Twitter on our Facebook page, ABC 57 News. A lot of these photos coming in. Want to show you, again, the impact of this storm. Many of us seeing at least seven, eight inches now. This is now the Walkerton area back towards Kingsford Heights, Kingsbury, North Liberty. You can see lighter snow uh, rates here. That's the lighter shading of blue. The darker shading is over towards La Paz and Plymouth and still further towards the south, south and east. That's where we're seeing the heaviest snowfall, at least at this time. Clearing off this information, I will pan further towards the south and east where that snow is still pretty heavy. If you're crossing US 31, 31 towards La Paz, again, this is some heavier snowfall that we're seeing across the area. Back out to that wider view. It's a large swath. The heaviest snow from around Winnemac through Plymouth up towards Sturgis is still in the Goshen area. This will be working into Kosciuszko County over the next hour or two as well. Lighter snowfall for LaPorte County, South Bend, Berrien and Cass. That's at least some good news here. The snow is starting to lessen. Visibility along with just the snow that's falling uh, down to a half or quarter mile in areas. So low visibility, heavy snow, bad driving conditions, and the wind's going to be picking up and it's only getting colder. I see no reason for you to want to get out on the roads tonight. Tomorrow, the afternoon temperatures will be below zero in the tens in a very, very cold 10 degrees below zero. Now tonight, as we go into tomorrow morning, it's going to be around two to five degrees. So we get colder during the day tomorrow. We continue to fall temperature wise tomorrow morning through the day. It's going to be very cold across the area and only getting colder. And you combine that with the wind, it's going to be pretty cold as well. You factor in the wind chill minus 30 to minus 45 as we continue on through most of the day on Monday. Uh, that's our big concern. Your ABC 57 first warning seven day forecast rigid Monday down to minus 20 by Tuesday morning. That's the biggest concern we have right now. Zero the high on Tuesday, 20 on Wednesday. We get above freezing by the end of the week, but we'll still see a chance for snow Wednesday and Thursday. So again, still a concern as far as that snowfall goes over the next seven to 10 days, but the next 24, 36, 48 hours, uh, dangerous driving conditions and especially dangerous cold. And as you been mentioned, you definitely do not. I mean, it is worst case scenario to try to think you can make it outside. You got a small yeah. car and then you get stranded. That is the worst case. That's scenario. That's the worst case scenario. You know, you might be able to make it, but if you don't, you are stuck in the cold and it's only getting more and more dangerous. Because okay. of that. Tom, thank you for the continued first warning. When working around the clock, we definitely appreciate it. We now have a look out the door now with the ABC 57 first warning mobile weather tracker. Eric Steltzer behind the wheel tonight. And Eric, uh, let's begin with where you are there. It's hard to tell and what the road conditions are like. Hey, Brian, we're on South Bend Avenue near the intersection of Corby Boulevard. That's just a few blocks away from Notre Dame right now, and the roads here are absolutely terrible. I was just over on the west side of South Bend, and I got stuck out there, so I had to leave that area because the roads out there haven't been plowed too well just yet. So people in that neighborhood, I've noticed several cars stuck out there. Mine got stuck out there as well, but definitely dangerous driving conditions out here in South Bend. Really paying off all that time in the gym, being able to push your own car out earlier, I was told. How about this tonight? I have a question. You know, you're on uh, some, I mean, that's, a, you know, Corby, South Bend Avenue. It's a busy road, but how about the toll road? I was told you were on there early. You would think something like the toll road would be better, but I actually heard that that was pretty bad experience for you. Tell us about that. Yeah, the toll road was absolutely terrible today. We were over near the Roseland exit over there, and the snow buildup on that exit ramp going onto the toll road, that's where you notice all 
of that snow. So it was really slippery out there. And when I actually got onto the toll road, you're noticing a lot of semis speeding by, kicking up all that snow on the road into other vehicles. So very difficult to see with that going on and the wind out there. My car ended up actually hitting a little patch of snow, sliding almost into a guardrail there. I spun out at almost a 360, but was able to stop right before hitting that guardrail. Car behind me slammed their brakes. They spun out, almost hit me as well. I really thought I was going to get hit out there, but luckily I did not. The other driver did not. Both of us were able to get out of that incident, but those semis still driving by, cruising very fast speeds out there, and it could be very dangerous, as we know, to get hit by one of those semis going down that road traveling very fast. All right, and Kim was talking earlier, Eric, uh, letting us know that you know a lot of people were having a difficult time at some of the stop signs, even stop lights, and having a hard time stopping, even going through some. Uh, what are you seeing there as you're on some of these roads that have those? As far as going through the roads, Brian, like I, I've noticed just cars getting stuck all over the place. You're seeing these plows plowing the roads out here, obviously, but there are still some patches of snow that's going to be in the middle of the roads, the side of the roads. The lanes are a little bit smaller, so it's congested, and it's really easy to get your car stuck in there if you're not straightening your tires out here. Most of the time when these cars are getting stuck, it's when they're making a turn, when they're making a left or a right, or it's when they're getting to a stop sign or red light. That's where you notice a lot of these vehicles getting stuck here when they actually come to a full stop. So if you possibly could, if you are on the roads today, try not to do that. If you're going to make a turn, straighten out those tires as soon as possible. Otherwise, you could end up in a ditch like a lot of these drivers out here today. Eric Seltzer behind the wheel of the ABC 57. First warning, mobile weather traffic uh, tracker. Eric, of course, drive safe out there. We appreciate you giving us that look out the door tonight. And uh, also, as Tom was mentioning earlier, one of the hardest hit areas, at least so far, more than eight inches, 8.1 inches in Roseland. Let's go live there tonight with ABC 57's Marissa Kirby. She is live at the Bob Evans restaurant for us. Marissa. Well, take a look at this parking lot right behind me, completely empty. I spoke to the general manager inside Bob Evans restaurant a little earlier today, and she made the decision to close the restaurant early due to weather conditions. Now that's because when she made the call and found out that street hazards are at a level two, she thought the conditions were just too dangerous for both her employees and her customers. Yeah, there's definitely been nobody in the store and just would rather see that and make sure that everybody's home safe instead of trying to come see us and eat Bob Evans. Now the general manager tells me they hope to be back to normal hours tomorrow after the storm has died down. Live in South Bend, Marissa Kirby, ABC 57 News. All right, and we do want to mention, too, that we are getting quite a bit of school closings, business closings, even some cancellations for church activities. Those can be found on ABC57.com. Also, school closings that continue to come in. You'll find those all night long at the bottom of your screen. You can see there the big four, including Elkhart, Goshen, South Bend, all closed for tomorrow. And we'll find out if they will stay closed for Tuesday when we're talking about those wind chills. For now, they are just for Monday. We are also getting some new information that I'd like to pass along here. South Bend power outage that we were reporting earlier. Indiana Michigan Power saying about 45 people without power in Ireland Road. Uh, Kim Chapel just sent me an email pushing along some information from INM saying that those 45 people are expected to be turned back on by 8 o'clock tonight. Also, I want to pass along, we're just getting this into the ABC 57 newsroom down in Culver. A snow emergency now in place until further notice. Vehicles and all the snow routes in Culver, those need to be moved. We have not gotten word, I will mention tonight, from Elkhart, Mishawaka or South Bend about the snow emergencies but of course when we get those we will pass those along again that is for Culver. All right where do we want to go next here I'm told that we have ABC 57's Alexandra Cohen live for us tonight on the west side of South Brian, Bend. Earlier I talked to passengers who were getting ready to go on the South Shore, South Shore train and they were so excited that there were no delays. The 1210 train arrived on time this afternoon pushing through that heavy snow. Several cars were lined up at the airport waiting for their loved ones. And one driver told me her sister was coming all the way from San Francisco. Really happy that my sister's coming on time. It would be really scary to have to sit here and wait for her, and I'd be worried about her being on that train. But so far, so good. Everything's great. You can continue to check the status on those South Shore trains on their website. Reporting live in South Bend, Alexandra Cohen, ABC 57 News. The latest snow total information just coming in of almost 10 inches, 9.9 .9 out of Laporte.
The good news is the snow is starting to lighten up just a little bit. ABC 57 first warning live top the radar shows at least lighter snowfall rates over LaPorte County, LaPorte, Kingsbury and Westville tracking the snow and what's in store for the rest of tonight. We've got some lake effect to talk about as well in your ABC 57 first warning neighborhood weather forecast. More after this.